Okay. Capture. So if I if I had returned here, you can't uh, return here. You can't return no, here. You got to go through TSA to make your connection. Once no, you pass that little checkpoint at the corner of all the customs office desks, there's no going down. Okay, no, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I was prefacing myself. I said, if I had returned, so I, if I had flown back into the United States yes. and arrived here as you said, and I, I come through here, this is the only way out of the airport, right? Oh, this is for connections. If you're connecting. Oh, no, I don't have a connection. If you're going to Seattle only, it's down the ramp. Oh. This is for if you want to fly to, like, Portland or, oh, yeah, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. You go through here. If you just wanted to go to Seattle, your friends meet you directly below where you're standing. How would one know... There, when you go down this way, there's a fork in the road. One goes down the ramp, one goes straight this way. Oh, yeah, that was not at all obvious. So, ramp is survey. Seattle. If you just want to come to town. Yeah. What's that? That's a survey observation. They want to know what's clear and what's not. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just trying to leave. See where yeah. these people in green are standing? Yeah. That's kind of what their job is. It's uh -huh. you're going to Seattle, you're going anywhere else. You, anywhere else, you come up here, you recheck bags uh, again, you go through TSA, you fly to wherever you want. I don't know, you want to go to San Francisco, wherever. Right. Well, yeah, the last. Just, if you live here in town and your friends are picking you up or you're getting your Uber or whatever, you're heading down there and out. And that's exit to Seattle. Right. Okay. Yeah, the last question, and he, I mean, I talked to the the person who was, I guess, playing a CBP at I don't know, at the, at, the, at the desk with the cameras, mm -hmm. with no indication that any facial recognition is being used, even though it is being used. He told me that the signs just aren't there. They're not using, it's not switched on at the moment. I mean, it's, it's designed when you come through, the same way boarding for right now, you know, you, you should have a show boarding pass. The way it should walk up is two meters out, it takes my picture, you're at the gate. Right, what I was looking for, what I wanted to do is verify that you're displaying the, the Paperwork Reduction Act notices that are required when you collect biographic collect any information basically from people. And I didn't see any of that, and I didn't see any indication that facial recognition was in use. There was a big kerfluffle about this. I went and talked to the court, court commission about this two years ago, many of us did, and said, do not implement this. And they voted to pay for CBP's system, to be the face of it, <laughs> uh, and to give CBP veto, no to, veto power over any signage. And we said, no, CBP is not gonna let you put up a sign that says this is optional. So here I am trying to look at the signs that say, this is optional, you don't have to do it, and I don't see any signs. There's not even any indication that it's in you know use. What? You probably want to have a chat. If that's the case, I'd have a chat with customs officials about that. We don't represent the government. Huh. So we, don't, we have nothing, so as far as the airlines, we fly between A and B, as far as clearing oh, security and, and dealing with customs. Out, so you should oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a question you want to direct at them, pal. So. Oh, uh, the question? Oh. oh, as far as like how they're using that one, yeah, we don't we don't operate in the equipment. That's government agency. So. Okay. Yeah, the equipment is. The, the question is, where's the signage indicating that facial recognition is in use? Are there any biometrics there in use? There isn't any. It'd be upstairs. There's none. There isn't any signs for that. Right. That's what I wanted. Really wanted to see, and to make sure that it was clear that it's optional, and to display the paperwork production act notice that is required. But I don't find any such signage. No, there isn't. And if somebody told me that facial recognition is used throughout this place. You but know, then they changed the technology. It was a funny thing. That's why that mezzanine level is so empty. Yeah. They had a. I'm not up on all the security features, but they had a whole security network set up based on, I believe, facial recognition. And then they came back and said, "No, the technology has overrun this. So that's why we're only going to have 12 global entry kiosks instead of C machines up there." Huh. So that's that's something you might have. Put that in your survey. Interesting. I mean, this is a, I, 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 this is a hot button issue for me. I feel really strongly about it, uh, and I've talked with the port commissioners about it, and they assured us, okay, we're gonna we'll put up very clear signage, letting people know that it's optional. And here I am, and there's not even any signs. Yeah, I don't. Huh. <laughs> no. Interesting. So do you work for do you work for Port of Seattle or? No, I'm for... a consultant to the port. Oh, okay. I ran the simulation. Ah. We don't have signs that say that. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's required for any and a government entity that's collecting any information to have a Paperwork Reduction Act notice posted. And that's clearly not the case. Okay, so where's the signs that would have indicated to me if I was if I got finished over there, and I just wanted to get out of the airport? Like I'm home and I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it's straight ahead. That's for connecting. Okay, okay, got it. Oh, so you have to look. You got to right. look under the... Oh, well, that's... Correct. Make that... <laughs> so there should be a sign right there. Yeah, they sh yeah. make that observation, too, in your survey. Huh. That's exactly it. This is confusing. Yeah. This is confusing. Oh, and you know, I mean, imagine, imagine the treatment I would have received if I walked down there and just tried to leave and then turned around and came back. Completely would, honestly, like, you crossed well TSA for you. one... I know, <laughs> and it's terrifying. Uh, <laughs> Here, come on. You got to go.
It's um, 10, 10.40 on Saturday, April, April 9, 2022 at SeaTac International Airport in their new uh, Air National Arrivals Terminal. And I'm participating in a passenger flow simulation event, evaluating their wayfinding and signage, and uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> 